Every day there are thousands of students like you who are filled with doubt, fatigue, and stress. Perhaps you're wondering if you picked the right path. You may be asking questions like, am I good enough? I don't know if I can do this anymore. I'm not sure if this is worth it. This is not what I expected. Again, you are not alone. Here are a few ways to regain your motivation on your medical journey. Number one, a lack of motivation doesn't reflect your desire for the goal. Remember that the lack of your current motivation doesn't represent your internal drive for a specific goal. If you're running a marathon, you may be hell bent to make it to the finish line, but during the run, it's normal for runners to hit a wall where their mind is asking them to stop and it's telling you this sucks, please stop running, it's not worth it, you're too tired. The medical journey is the same way. The journey may suck at times, but that doesn't mean you don't want to reach the finish line. Don't confuse the two. Instead, you can focus on number two, which is to identify the main cause for your lack of motivation and address it daily. You may still want to be a great doctor, but something is temporarily getting in the way. Maybe that's the lack of desire to study, or perhaps you wish you could not work so many hours. Maybe you want more time for yourself, or you're not happy with your results. If you don't have a desire to study, find the technique that you mind the least and fill your calendar with this technique as much as possible. If you're tired of excessive hours, enforce a cutoff time where you have to close your laptop and stop studying. Because let's be honest, an extra hour or two of tired studying isn't going to get you an A, but it will make your lack of motivation worse. If you want more time for yourself, then clean out your entire calendar and first add two 60-minute blocks in your day for something you enjoy. Hell, plan a 60-minute nap if that helps you, but plan you first. And if you're not happy with your results, and ask yourself what worked in the past and make small changes that you can measure and reevaluate. Start to watch how your motivation improves when you look at every ditch as an opportunity of something you can fill to avoid falling into again. Next, you have to be input-driven. Too often, a lack of motivation is confused with discouragement. Because where you think you may not be motivated, you're truly discouraged. You may say, I'm discouraged because my grades are not where I want them to be. I'm discouraged because the tests are hard. I'm discouraged because what I'm doing isn't get the results that I want. But remember the outputs are not in your control, so stop letting your emotions be controlled by them. Instead, start to control your study approach better so you can better retain info. Ask yourself what's working and what's not, and continue to cut the fluff until all that you're doing is valuable. Go in with each test with confidence, and if the grade is still less than desired, then change your attitude from, oh man, this sucks, to okay, well, Here's how I'm gonna make changes going forward. Because remember that you will not remember your grades when you're a doctor, nor will your patients ever ask you. But you do miss the opportunity to improve with each quiz and test. So imagine the progress you can make by being 1% better with your approach on each and every exam, whether that be your confidence, your study strategy, your efficiency, and or your knowledge base. What would that future you look like after four years of medical school when you start to look at everything as an opportunity to improve and progress, regardless if it's a success or a failure? So again, focus on the input and adjust based on the output. Finally, use your peers as motivation and not competition. Do you remember the smartest kid in your kindergarten class? What about fifth grade? No, because they actually don't have any effect on your life. Then why are you so hyper-focused on your peers now? You need to stop using your classmates as a measuring stick. Neither of you will remember the scores five years down the road. Instead, you need to start using them as a source of motivation. Look at how amazing their why and their story was to get into medicine. Look at how okay they were with being wrong in class and learning through their mistakes. Look at how they structured their day to better study and stay balanced. Maybe you notice they're always smiling and you notice that perhaps you can implement that more in your life. Maybe you notice that they're amazing with their patients and you can say, well, I like how they did this one thing. I'll try that with my next patient. So remember, motivation, not competition. But that, friends, is how you regain that motivation, how you stay motivated on your medical journey, where you look at everything as an opportunity of how you can progress, or at least very much ask, why am I not making progress forward, versus just being bummed about the lack of progress itself. So remember, move forward, progress, take feedback, and repeat, and you'll start to understand how your progress will eventually become your main source of motivation. And with that being said, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of motivational video. I really enjoyed making this for you. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button down below. It tells me you want more content just like this on a weekly basis, or at least add your comments down below what other video topics you want me to cover in future videos. And if you're either new here or lurking around the channel, hit that subscribe button if you want more videos like this on a weekly basis. And if you need even more help with your stress management or your motivation, then check out some of the 
programs that we have for you down below. The main one I'd recommend is the Domination Bundle, which has the Stress to Success mini course, is something you can watch on the weekend and truly start to have the tools that I and other medical students have used to truly help them remain motivated while going through the grind. Like we talked about in the video, if the lack of performance or not getting the grades you want is really what's holding you back and you want to work with me one on one, then go ahead and check out the link down below for our coaching programs. But with that being said, guys, if you did enjoy this video, then check out this video on how you can study like a pro from start to finish, as well as this video on how you can use Anki like a pro full breakdown. But as always, thank you so much for joining me on my journey. Hopefully I was a little help to you guys on yours and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, my friends.